YouTube is your boy Chris, aka that plant based brother, and welcome back to my channel, Coach Your Kitchen. Now, before we get started with today's video, as always, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome. Please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can be up to date when I drop new videos. Now, on to today's video. Today, we're going to be making Greek American Euros, but we're going to be veganizing them. So we can basically call this a vegan Greek American Euro. Okay, now, for those of you who don't know what a gyro is, a gyro is a Greek dish that's predominantly made with lamb, where you can use chicken, beef, or pork. But, you know, today, obviously, we're veganizing this. So I'm going to be using king oyster mushrooms to mimic the meat in this dish. So enough of me rambling. Let's get into the video. All right, family. So before we get started, I just want to let everyone know that the full list of ingredients will be in the description box. Okay, so now, on to the video. So to get started, I'm going to start by hand shredding um 18 to 20 ounces of king oyster mushrooms the reason why i like using king oyster mushrooms as my meat replacement is because of the texture and the consistency of king oyster mushrooms all right um king oyster mushrooms are very quote-unquote meat like right and as you can see in the video you know they definitely look different than your traditional oyster mushroom clusters that you normally see in your grocery store so if you can get your hands on king oyster mushrooms i highly recommend that you use them for your meat substitutions and some of your vegan dishes okay so what i'm doing is i'm basically just hand shredding them and if you want to use a knife to pull them or if you want to use a fork that is your prerogative you can do that but i've noticed that the consistency and the texture of king oyster mushrooms they just look a lot better and yeah they just look a lot better when you just hand pull them Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm basically just hand pulling them, um, pulling them with my hands. Um, you don't now what you don't want to do. You don't want to um, you don't want to shred them too thin. You want them to be somewhat thick so they can actually have a um, like a nice a nice chew to it. Because when we put them in the oven and we roast them, um, some of the water a lot of the water is going to be um, cooked out of the mushroom and it's going to um, it's going to decrease in size. So you don't want to shred them too thin, but you don't want to shred them too thick neither. So, you know, you want to shred them just right or just shred them to your preference. All right. I'm going to shut up now. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right. So now we need to season and marinate these bad boys. So to start off with our seasonings, we have some oregano. We have some smoked paprika, some cumin, some onion powder, some white pepper, some garlic powder and some salt all right and then we're gonna go ahead and just dump all that over our mushrooms like so okay and then um in the liquid part of the marinade we have some lemon juice some olive oil some cocoa aminos all right and then we're gonna go ahead and add that to the mixture as well All right, after we pour our marinade into the bowl, um, as you can see, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start tossing the mushrooms in the marinade, and we wanna make sure that the mushrooms are thoroughly coated. So we wanna give the mushrooms a very good toss and a very good massage. I say massage because you're basically, you know, massaging the, um, the marinade into the mushrooms a little bit, you know? And as you can see, I'm wearing gloves. Um, I, pref I prefer to wear gloves um, when I'm, you know, hand tossing stuff. If you don't want to wear gloves, that's fine. Just make sure you wash your hands, you know. We're in the middle of a pandemic, and I just want everybody to be safe, okay? And food safety is key, right? Even if you're cooking at home, it's still key, all right? So I'm just tossing the mushrooms um, in the marinade, making sure that the mushrooms are thoroughly coated. And then I'm going to um, put a top on my bowl, and I'm just going to set it in the refrigerator, um, I think I marinated them for about an hour, maybe two hours max, um, just to give the mushrooms enough time to soak in the marinade. So when we put them in the oven, well, actually, when we take them out the oven and we bite into these joints, they're going to be nice and juicy and full of flavor. Okay. All right. So more fun stuff. So we're going to make the vegan tzatziki sauce now. Now, traditional tzatziki sauce is made with whole dairy yogurt, but since we're veganizing this, we're going to be using vegan Greek style yogurt, okay? So what I did was I went in with about a cup and a half of vegan Greek style yogurt, 
Uh, this is the Kite Hill brand. Um, this it was the one that I found. I don't have any preference really, um, but it actually turned out pretty good. So if you have the Kite Hill Greek style yogurt um, in your area, um, go ahead and grab that because it works very well with this dish. Okay. So like I said, uh, went in with about a cup and a half of the Kite Hill Greek style yogurt. All right. Okay. Next, we're going to take eight ounces of grated or shredded cucumber. So what I did was I just took a large cucumber. Um, I grated it on a um, cheese grater and then um, I took I took what was left and I actually put it in some paper towel or cheese cloth and I squeezed it to get the excess water out to dry it up a little bit more so we can add it to our tzatziki sauce. So that's all I did for that. Okay, next we're going to go in with two to three cloves of minced garlic. Um, I like using fresh garlic. You can use the minced garlic in a jar, whatever your preference is. It doesn't matter. Okay, next we went in with about I want to say two teaspoons of dill, of dried dill. If you have fresh dill, that's even better. But I use dried dill because that's all I had on hand. Okay. Next, we're going to go in with some pepper. Um, like I said before, the exact amount would be in the description. But as you've seen the video, I'm just, you know, a couple of twists and turns of the pepper. And that's that. Then we're going to add a little bit of salt. All right. Like I said, um, if you guys notice, everything I do with Culture Kitchen, everything is seasoned to taste. Okay. I try to measure, but everything is seasoned to taste. All right. And then we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. To give it that tang. All right. Now that we have all of our ingredients in our bowl, we're just going to mix thoroughly and um, we're going to season to taste if there's anything missing or we want to add stuff. Um, now is the time to do it. All right. So. You want your tzatziki sauce um, to taste good for you, okay? Luckily, when I made this video and when I made this recipe, um, it tastes good enough for me, so I didn't change anything. But if you want to add, you know, a little bit more salt, pepper, lemon juice, so be it, okay? So after you get the tzatziki sauce to your liking and to your preference, just go ahead and put it in the refrigerator and chill it until it's time for us to assemble the yellow. All right, so now we're going to roast our mushrooms. What you want to do, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius. All right, and we're going to take our mushrooms. We're going to put them on a lined baking sheet with parchment paper, and we're going to separate them. You don't want the mushrooms to be stacked across each other. You just want to give a little bit of space between the mushrooms. And then we're going to bake them for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the um, edges are a little bit crispy, okay? You want to watch how it progresses and you want to flip occasionally to make sure all the sides are nicely baked and crispy. Okay. All right. 40 to 45 minutes later, um, take a look at my mushrooms. They are done. The edges are a little bit crispy and this is what it should look like. All right, family. So when I took my mushrooms out the oven, they were still a little, you know, um, not, I don't want to say soggy, but they weren't as crispy as I thought they were. So what I did was I added some oil to a pan and I fried, I pan fried my mushrooms just to re-ensure that um, the mushrooms are the crispiest that I can get them, okay? So I pan fried them for a couple of minutes um, just to re-ensure that the, uh, the texture is to my liking. Now, this is an extra step. You don't necessarily have to do this, but um, that's what I did basically. If you want to do this, great. You don't have to do this, but um, I know some people don't like the taste of mushrooms because of the mushiness and I guess the sponginess of mushrooms, like the sponge type texture of mushrooms. So um, what I did was I went ahead and I just pan fried them a little bit. I think what I'm going to do in the future is invest in a dehydrator. Um, I've heard that partially dehydrated mushrooms have more of a meat texture or if you dehydrate mushrooms and then rehydrate them and cook them, they actually have a better texture and consistency to somewhat meat-like in a sense. So I might try that next time, but you know, for now, and just to keep things, you know, as simple as possible, just pan frying them in some oil, you know, will get them nice and crispy. All right. So um, after we go ahead and, you know, fry up these mushrooms to get them a little bit more crispier, uh, more crispy, um, we're going to just put them on a plate 
um, to cool off. And then it's going to be time to assemble our Euro and get our grub on. So let's go on to the next step. All right. Finally, the step we've all been waiting for, putting our Euro together so we can get our grub on. So first, we start off with one um, Greek style flatbread. All right. Um, you can heat it up if you want. I actually recommend it. It tastes better. All right. Then we went in with some tzatziki sauce. Uh, I think I went in with about um, two teaspoons. Um, I could have went. I could have got away with one because I'm going to be using more um, to finish it off. But it is what it is. Um, then we went ahead and added some shredded lettuce. I use romaine lettuce, so I just took some romaine lettuce and shredded them. And, you know, like I said, we're going to keep it simple, plant based, with a lot of flavor. Then we went in with some watercress. All right, got some watercress. Now be careful with the watercress. Watercress has a very strong peppery taste. Okay, and if you're not a big fan of pepper. It can it can smack you in the face, catch you off guard. All right. Then I went in with some red onions, okay, and then I went in with some tomatoes. All right. After the tomatoes, I went in with a few pieces of sliced cucumber. All right. And then after the cucumber, we go ahead and we add our mushroom meat. Okay, so we're going to add a couple of slices of our mushroom meat to the euro, you know, the star of this dish. Okay. This is the star of the dish right here, the mushrooms, all right? Got to get your mushrooms on, you know. Now, when you're making a euro, you know, you can make it sloppy. You can make it neat. I like presentation. I'm really big on presentation. So, you know, I made sure mine was all nice and uniformed and stuff. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and just top this off with some more tzatziki sauce, okay? Just like that. All right, and that's it, family. We have a vegan, Greek, American, gyro. Damn! Oh my God! Well, there you have it, family vegan greek american euros i had a lot of fun making this and i hope you have a lot of fun as well if you have any questions or concerns you can drop a comment or you can email me at coachyourkitchen at gmail.com if you want to get in contact with me on any of my social media platforms on facebook it's facebook.com slash coach kitchen on instagram it's at that plant-based brother i just started a tiktok and a snapchat recently and for both of those platforms it's at coach Your kitchen please like share and subscribe with that being said, this is your boy Chris, a.k.a. that plant-based brother with Culture Kitchen, signing off. Are we cooking?